from outside Cabela's. Frankie, say hey. Hey. You're right there. I know. I feel like you're in my space right now. All right. Well, we're about ready to head into the store. World's foremost outfitter. Hmm. Do they have knives, though? They should. Hunting, fishing, outdoor gear. Exactly. It's been a little while since we've been to a Cabela's, so hopefully their selection has grown. This is the nearest one for us. Yeah. And it's what? It's like over half an hour away from yeah. where we live. Roughly, yep. All right. No, we're going to check out the knives, hopefully. And I don't know, maybe glance around at some other stuff. We'll mm -hmm. see. Yeah. See what we can find. You guys out there, do you have Cabela's? You know what we're talking about? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's go check it out. Okay. Thank you. They have guns here. I didn't even remember that. Firearms on that wall. There's the gun library. Firearms checkout. I got their whole separate thing, but here's some knives. A decent selection. Okay. Gerber. All right. What are these pliers? <laughs> Those are hardcore. Okay. Looks like we've got some some stuff to wow, look at. Wow, they actually have some cold like a cold steel. Cold steel. Wow. Okay, Smith and Wesson. Quality, quality knives for sure. A few Spinercos. M&P. Three spider right. coasts. They have a tenacious. $60.99. I feel like that might be a little high. I think it might be overpriced, yeah. Another tenacious. What's the difference here? Black blade. Just the black finish blade? Yeah, $4 more. And then the, the persistence, persistence $56.99. All the same steels. Old timer? Yeah, all right. Okay, this is for a buck, I kind of like this. Look at that. Isn't that kind of nice? I wouldn't have guessed buck to do this style of knife. Yeah. I actually like this one too. The Nobleman? Mm-hmm. All right. What was the price on this? It $40. Thirty-nine ninety-nine. Oh, 7 CR 17. Okay. Was it okay. here? Yeah. Yeah. Where's the 110 that gives you 110? That's what there people always want. $64.99. Yeah, is that a good deal, guys? There's the Spitfire. There's another set of cold steel. That's like the old label. The throwing knives? Uh-huh. Yeah, actually, decent cost for him. There's some flesh that's behind it, too. The M&P fixed blades? Yeah. The steel is high carbon stainless Ooh. steel. Yes. Actually, next to that is 8CR 13 MOB. Not not ideal for a fixed blade. Mm. All right, what do we got? There's actually their own brand too. Cabela's has their own brand. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anything standing out? No, I think we've bought these before. It's their little multi-tools, which it's isn't the, too bad for $7.99. Well, it's the Gerber Dime size. Yeah. I don't know if they're any good. I think we have some floating around the house. Somewhere. Floating around the house. Literally floating? Probably. Right. What's something like this that's a $10 420 blade steel? It has eight tools. What's this? It's a it's this multi tool thing. Also ten dollars. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. Yeah. 
not bad. And you get some color too. Okay, some very entry level stuff with the Cabela's brand. Is it any good? We don't really know. What else do we have? There's stream lights behind you. Actual stream light flashlights. Okay, here's Saw. Oh my gosh, this thing's ancient. The Twitch 2. Remember how old this knife Was is? Is that assisted? Yeah. 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 We have one, I think, with the partial serrated. Yeah. We have that little key knife, too, I thought. Yeah, we do. 10 bucks. Okay, nothing on that side. Let's go this way. Um, they have a lot of knives. I've been wanting this one actually. It's that lightweight kind of bug out esque knife. Is it manual? Sixty dollars. It's got a crossbar. Yeah. This one's on sale for sixty-seven dollars. What's the model? Sogtac XR. Oh yeah, that's been around for a while. What is, that's the two. Twitch, yeah. yeah. $60. $60, what's the steal on that one? Os 8. Os 8, all right, maybe an upgrade from 8CR. Okay, and then Gerber's. The Slim Jim. Talk, okay, about, uh, talk about blade to handle ratio. We had that, it had horrible action though. Yeah. What? Flimsy. CRKTs? Alright, hold on. Let's do one aisle at a time here. Sorry. I'm so excited that there's actually knives. Gerber. Yeah. The fuse? What's that all about? It's interesting. It's 7CR. Yeah. <laughs> Armored grip. The pair frame. That's been around for a while. What's the Gerber dime going for? $24.99. Yeah. This is kind of a cute little knife. What's that? What's the, is it a liner lock? Yeah. What else can you tell me about 22. it? 22. 22 bucks. 7CR. Yeah. Would, all the things, they would be so much nicer if they had better steel. So there's actually an employee that's walked past this aisle like eight times. I think he's, I think he's watching us. Yeah. Frankie, I think we're being watched. Okay. Asada, we've seen those before. It's a fixed wait, is it? No, it's finger flipper. Okay, it don't look like a fixed blade. The scout, I kind of like the looks of that with the crossbar. Well, they actually 60. have nice looking knives, but they're just junk steel. Yeah, but 440. Bucks? I don't know, it just seems like you can get so much more knife. This is interesting. Confidant. This is how you see like all of these weird random Gerbers. You guys can tell us about some of these prices. The Sumo, there's, um, there's really a lot more crossbar locks than there used to be. Yeah, there is. Okay, look behind you now. There's some Kershaw's. Okay, hold up. Outdoor Edge. Like junky knives. Yeah. Junky knives? Junky. For addicts? Well, they have been have an Ontario rat. Uh, 39 dollars Shuffle 2, Brawler. They seem like they're always. Those good. might be more realistic prices. Shuffle 2. I always like the Shuffle 2 uh -huh. when we just started collecting Kershaw's like 10 years ago. Oh, here's the Overland. We have the mini of this. There's a mini of that one? Uh-huh, we have a mini at home. That one's... A tuna. Just about 70. What's that, the yeah. tuna go for? 54. The, the fossil. Pilar. What's that? The fossil. It's like the only knife you can find at Walmart. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, for just a basic. I was just carrying this the other day. The Compact CEO. What are those selling for? 50 bucks. All right. And I think here's the regular CEO for 50. It's 
the twelfth time that employees walked behind us there. <laughs> Leatherman, the surge, the wave, uh -huh. the bond. I'm not familiar with that one. What about the brownings? You missed over these beautiful knives. So some of the firearm brands. Yeah, they should probably just stick to what they're good at. Well, there's a lot to choose from. And we haven't even made it, there's usually a case over there with good stuff in it. You think there's more? Mm -hmm. Yes, there is, but there's a guy working the case. Oh, there might not be knives in it. Though. I see knives right now. Oh. I always call that the credit card knife. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Ultra XR by Sog. There's a zero tolerance. I haven't seen it. There's an AT down here. They've got the Paramilitary 2, an Enduro. Mm -hmm. They have a little bit to choose from. 450. The 350 ZT, those have been around for a while. Mm -hmm. I just haven't looked at prices on some of this stuff in a long time. Yeah. I'm guessing it's high. I want to say that like the the 0450 is usually about 200. So. Oh, there's the carbon fiber one yeah. in the back. That was always one of your favorites. Mm -hmm. It still uh, is. All right. Okay, they've got some decent knives, don't they? Mm -hmm. I mean, the... The budget stuff, you know, that's its own. That's different. We're saying uh -huh. decent knives. This is like, this is definitely if you want to spend some more money. Yeah, if you want to like get it in your hand get before it you buy it. In your hand. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh -huh. Try it out, right? A little yeah. bit. I wonder what's around the corner. Let's check it out over there too. There's two employees just above us. Mm-hmm. Uh I think we're being watched, Frankie. The Desert Tan Tanto is very interesting color-wise. $75 on that. Uh, it's more coppery than it is tan. That's just listed as Oss High Carbon Steel. Mm, it's awesome steel. That's what you always say. Mm-hmm. So there's actually a guy working the counter. I'm impressed showing a customer some different models of knives. They have Benchmade over there. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. They make it kind of like a destination. Which animal do you like the most up there? The wolf. I like the mountain goat. Do you think they know that I can speak goat? That you can speak goat? Yeah. You've had a goat. Yeah. But then they have animals everywhere up here. Let's make our way back over there. Okay. Frankie's gonna try it. Okay. What about the moose? <laughs> okay, what do we got here? We have bench maids, bench maids. Notice in the back there they have the bailout the shot show exclusive i know well, we were told it's the shot show exclusive i know i thought it was all special 289 look at this the the 940 carbon fiber uh -huh. 315 that's a nice that's a nice 940. overall it seems like the bug outs are decently priced though um i haven't checked for a little bit what they're going for but they're probably a little higher yeah but not terrible I like this bug out right here. The orange blade. Me too. 171. And then mini Osborns. Look at this. A mini reptilian for 130. Yeah, it's in D2. Yeah. I didn't even know they made it in D2. The Adamas. If I had to choose something, it would be from this display. 
I really like the bailout, but I'm a 940 fan. I'm a bug out fan. Like over a decade. Look, there's my full immunity. Just in the brown, though. Here, they have a crooked river. We actually had one for a little bit. Mm-hmm. 288. Yeah, not bad. The readout. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I actually have a lot of sharpening options too. This is work sharp. Mm -hmm. Multiple styles of sharpeners with work sharp. Lots of kitchen ones. Lots of pull through stuff. Good. Good. How are you? I'm good. Do you have any questions about knife sharpeners? Anything I can help you? Oh, we're just kind of comparing prices. Wonderful. Yeah. Will you give me a shot if you have any questions? I'm All right. Happy to help. Thank, you. Thank you. Oh, and we do have a price match guarantee. So if you can beat it online, we'll match that price for you. Okay, Excellent. Perfect, All right. That's awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Lots more of the pull through style. What's this one down here? I think these are like the ones that are this is, like what we have. This is the style that I'm used to. Yeah. With the arm. Huh. Well, that was nice. Yeah, that was a nice plug. Well, it's, it's a nice store. Mm -hmm. Gotta say. This All is right. what I've always just been used to. That's the before, noise it makes. Yeah, yeah. Before I ever even got into knives, uh -huh. I was just used to this the single stones, just yeah. the actual like yeah, like the bench stone there. Mm -hmm. The wet stones too even. You like it wet. See, I don't even know what she's going with there. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, no, there's some sharpeners. Yep, yeah, cool. Nice. I think we've shown most of the knife stuff. I know we did. Back at the car. That's Cabela's. Really nice store. It's a nice store. It's mm -hmm. been um, it's been a little while since we've been to one of these stores. Yeah. And yeah, it's great. More knives than we expected. Decent clothes selection too. Clothing. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah. All I like clothes. All kinds of outdoor gear. Yeah. All right. Do you have a Cabela's near you? Let us know. Mm -hmm. Do you wish you did? I bet a lot of people wish they did because it was actually a pretty decent knife selection there. Yeah. Variety of brands, all kinds of stuff to choose from. Well firearms i don't know if they would allow filming of firearms i don't think they usually do uh -uh. that would be a whole separate video but yeah yeah um all right but they price match they price match yeah so you could get a knife in hand make sure you like it and then get a better deal on it yeah if you weren't sure about it uh an expensive zt an expensive mm -hmm. bench made yeah. what else did they have they had some spider co's all kinds of good stuff yeah decent yeah mm -hmm. all right well now that's it what did we buy Nothing knife related, not today. This is when I question you a lot. I had this whole selection. We did film it. I don't know if we're going to show it. So this this brand, Professor Payne, mm -hmm. into ass. I was trying to make my mouth look like a butt pucker. I wanted to keep this like, you know, clean. Clean, but I don't anyway. think it's going to be clean after that. This was the. This was the double X. I'm one of these types where like it can't be hot enough. It can't. I can never get the heat level. No. Um, I don't even know what my threshold is. Yeah. Put it that way. You're yeah. always over there crying, but you you like the pain. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And speaking of that, that's who makes this hot sauce, Professor Payne. Maybe you and him are relatives. Yeah, it's a brand out of Florida. I had yeah. never heard of it. Uh mm huh. -hmm. But got to Pain in the ass. What was the, let's see, what was the price on this? I think it was $11. Yeah, $10.99. Better be good, right? Uh-huh. All right. No, that's it. You made it this far in the video. Give us a thumbs up. Uh-huh. Do you wish you had Cabela's? It's, yeah. They're nice. Maybe you can do a story post for after you have that. What, to Instagram? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> um, what, like the results? Yeah. Anyway. The I... results are in. <laughs> 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 all right. No. Anyway, if you made it this far, seriously, what were you expecting? Right. Um, all right. No. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye. Nice. I actually might like this.
that. You probably would. The hot Actually, sauce. Actually, there's a lot of hot sauces. The hot sauce, that is. Wait, no, here, this one's for you and us. Bird shot. That's a real thing, you know. It is. Here's zombie shot. Look at this. Ooh, that sounds interesting. I'm confused. Colon cleanser? That one sounds quite interesting. You might need to get one of these. Oh my gosh, something about this just looks like it would be really spicy. It's actually hot sauce. Yeah. All it is is vinegar, water, and capsaicin. Alright, now we gotta get over to oh, the Oh, look at it, like, I don't know. Wow. These are interesting. Okay.